Okay, so now that you guys have clicked the link from iSites, you are brought to the Apple Developer Program page. Here's where you're going to enroll in the Apple Developer Program. And what that basically means is you are going to register and certify an account with Apple that will allow you to host applications in the App Store under your personal name or your personal brand name. And we're going to be enrolling in the iOS system. That's the iPhone operating system. Um, it's right here. You can see one of the programs here. So you can take a look at the overview, and once you do, go ahead and press continue. Um, let it be noted real quick that completing your purchase is one of the steps. That means it is going to cost $99, $99 going to Apple and Apple alone to register your account. That will basically certify that Apple recognizes you as an Apple developer. So go ahead and press continue and that's going to prompt us to decide whether we are registering as a new developer or we are reactivating or uh, completing a uh, existing Apple developer account. So for our case we're going to go ahead and click on the new Apple developer option right here. Um, if you guys already have an account you can obviously go to the right hand side and pick the option that suits you best. So I'm going to go ahead and press continue for a new Apple developer account. And that's going to bring me to uh, another prompt. It's going to ask whether I am enrolling as an individual or a company. You guys can kind of take a look at what exactly is involved in uh, both of these different options. Um, for now, I'd say the safest bet is to enroll as an individual. I say this because if you um, are interested in getting a con company certificate in the future, you can always add individuals and bring them over to the company uh, account. So that's not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and click the individual link. And once that occurs, you're going to come to a fill-in-the-blank sort of page. Um, you're going to be asked to complete your personal profile, which means um, submitting your desired Apple ID um, and filling in all the appropriate personal information. Once you're done with this, you're going to go ahead and press continue down at the bottom right-hand side here. And once you press continue, Apple is thus going to contact you in about 24 hours, and they're going to tell you the next step. Um, it will probably be verifying your information and paying that $99. But once you have uh, completed that step, you'll be well on your way to getting that Apple ID, um, that developer account, and getting your brand name and your application in the iTunes App Store. So thank you for joining us for this quick tutorial, and have a great day.